example 2b, once again, we would like to identify the least common denominator first, and then we're going to multiply each term by the least common denominator to get rid of all of that fractions, making it easier for us to solve for x. So least common denominator, again, you look at the similarities and differences. So I see x more than once, that's a similarity that needs to be in the least common denominator. And then a difference, I have a two and a four. Remember we talked about how when you get more than one constant, you need to look at the multiples and choose the least common multiple. I feel like some students are still confused by what it means to be a multiple. So when I say look at the multiples, I mean, for example, 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So on and so forth. For 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, so on and so forth. These are the multiples that we're looking at. Now you may see that, oh hey, they both have a 4, they both have an 8, in fact they're both going to have a 12, they're both going to have a 16, um, but even with all these similarities, I want to use the least common multiple. So the smallest number that they have in common is 4. So that means I need to use a 4 in the least common denominator. So I'm multiplying each term by 4x. You don't always have to write out this step. Eventually you'll get to the point where you'll just do it in your head. But I just want to show it to you for now while we're still getting used to it. So in the first term, the 4's cancel and the X's cancel. So I'm just left with 3. In the second term, the X's cancel. So I have 4 times 6, which is 24. And then over here, the last term, I'm subtracting. Um, nothing s cancels, but we can simplify. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have 2x times 7, which is 14x. And now I can solve for x. I usually like to have my... Uh, x term be positive, so I might add 14 and subtract 3, but you don't have to go that route. You could subtract the 24 if you wanted to, which would give me negative 21 and negative 14x, and I just divide by a negative 14. Now two negatives makes a positive, and 21 over 14 would become 3 over 2 because both of these were divisible by 7. Now remember, I can't just say, yep, that's a solution. I have to check and see when is the function undefined. And that's by setting each equal to 0. So if I set 4x equal to 0, to solve for x, you divide by 4, so x equals 0. Okay, so x cannot equal 0. The denominator of the second term, x equals 0, I already have that. The denominator of the third, 2 will never equal 0. So if 2 will never equal 0, that doesn't give me a solution that would make it undefined. 3 halves is a solution because it's not the x value that would make it undefined. Okay, part C. Let's try it again. Least common denominator. Similarities times the differences. I have a similarity of x minus 7, a difference of 2. So 2 times x minus 7. Multiply each term. Eventually what you could do is just show, hey, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2 over x minus 7. You can do it in your head. But while we're still getting used to it, I'm just going to write it all out. 
So I'm just writing the first term being multiplied, the second term being multiplied, and the third term, just so we get used to it. And then we cancel stuff out. So the last term, the x minus 7s cancel, the middle term, the 2s cancel, the first term, the x minus 7s cancel. So I'm left with 2 times the expression 2x minus 9. Plus, I have x times the x minus 7 equals 2 times 5, which is 10. We have to clean this up by distributing and combining like terms. So 4x minus 18 plus x squared minus 7x equals 10. So now, as soon as you see that x squared, you should recognize, hey, this is a quadratic. So I need to get this equation set equal to zero, meaning I'm gonna subtract the 10 from each side and combine my like terms. So I had an x squared, 7x plus 4x, or excuse me, negative 7x plus 4x. That gives me a negative 3x. And negative 18 minus 10 is a negative 28. Now that I have this quadratic written in standard form, I need to try and factor. This is a case one trinomial. If you think of the factors of 28, it's 1 and 28, 2 and 14, uh, 4 and 7. Using different signs, I want to get to a negative 3. So using different signs, to get a negative 3, I would have to have a negative 7 and a positive 4. So it's x minus 7, x plus 4. And I'm going to have to set each equal to 0 to get my two possible solutions. So x could either equal 7 or negative 4. But remember, I have to check for extraneous solutions. So going back and looking at the original denominators, setting each equal to zero. So it's going to be undefined. X cannot equal, if I set X minus seven equal to zero, I would get a positive seven. Two equal to zero doesn't work. X minus seven equal to zero gives me seven. So it's only defined, undefined at seven. Out of my two possible solutions, one of them is extraneous. So my only solution that could work is a negative four. Part D. Whenever I give you a whole number, I want you to go ahead and just rewrite it as being over one. So we don't get confused about what's in the numerator and what's in the denominator. So my least common denominator will be similarities times differences. I have a similarity of x minus 2 and a difference of 1. But really, that 1 doesn't do anything. So uh, it's just x minus 2 as the least common denominator. So x minus 2 times 5x over x minus 2 equals x minus 2 times 7 plus x minus 2 times 10 over x minus 2. The x minus 2's cancel in the first and last term. So I get 5x equals, distribute the 7 to those two terms, 7x minus 14 plus 10. Well, combine your like terms, I get 5x equals 7x minus 4. And now we just need to solve for x. Uh, you could bring the 7x over to the other side. Then you're going to have a negative number. It's fine. It'll work. Or you can move the negative 5 over here and then move the 4 over here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think it might actually just be easier for me to go ahead and do this. So 5 minus 7 is a negative 2x equals negative 4 divide by negative 2, x equals a positive 2. Let's check and see if it actually works. 
So it's undefined when x minus 2 equals 0, so x cannot equal a positive 2. And that 1 will not give us a solution where it's undefined. So it's just undefined at x equals 2 because of this as well. And yes, this is extraneous. So when our only solution is extraneous, you need to write no solution. Part E, I made a mistake. I don't remember if this is supposed to be x plus 1 or x minus 1 here, but I tried working it out and it doesn't work out very nicely. So let's just skip that and take a look at f for now. So you'll notice f looks a little bit different because it doesn't have addition or subtraction um, of two different fractions on each side. So technically, I could solve using cross multiplication if I wanted to. All right, that's completely fine. You could. Or I wanted to show you, you could use this method as well. The least common denominator, they both already have a common denominator of x minus 4. So if I just multiply both of them by x minus 4, uh, the both denominators are going to cancel. So I'm just left with 2 times x plus 4 equals 3x. And I could clean that up. It's 2x plus 8 equals 3x. And I can solve. So minus 2x minus 2x, 8 equals x. Okay, there's my solution, possible solution. Check when it's undefined. So x minus 4 equals 0 because they're both the same. So x cannot equal 4. And that doesn't, so it works. Um, sorry, this, this looks like a negative 8. That's supposed to be a positive. All right, it's time for the word problem. Okay, there's going to be a problem just like this on your homework, so pay close attention. It says, Julian can mulch a garden in 20 minutes. Together, Julian and Remy can mulch the same garden in 11 minutes. How long will it take Remy to mulch the garden when working alone? So we have three bits of information. Julian takes 20 minutes to mulch the garden. Julian and Remy together will take 11 minutes. And then Remy is going to take, well, we don't know, an X amount of minutes. They're mulching the same garden. So this is one job they're trying to accomplish. So what I did is I wrote each of these as a rate. Julian's rate is one job per 20 minutes. Remy's rate is one job per X amount of minutes. Julian and Remy together is one job per 11 minutes. Okay, this is their ratios or their rates. Now I need to write an equation. Julian and Remy, if they work together, will take 11 minutes. So if I add these two, I can set it equal to the rate that they work together, which means I have Julian plus Remy equals to the together, which makes sense. Julian was 1 over 20 plus Remy was 1 over x equals the together rate, which is 1 over 11. Now we have something that looks like the problems in example 2. We just need to multiply by the least common denominator. They have so no similarities, uh, so the least common denominator is going to be 120 x. So now I'm going to multiply each term by the 120x, which gets me here. I simplified and canceled stuff out to get me to this next step. 11x plus 120 equals 20x. And then I solved for x. I subtracted 11x, gave me 120 equals 9x, and divided by 9. So 120 divided by 9 becomes approximately 24.4 minutes. That's how long it takes Remy to mulch the garden. Sorry I had to do that to the steps, but I ran out of time when I was trying to complete it. 